Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros. I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold a laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would have got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear. No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No, then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. Hey there. Name's JR. We about to see some action? Nope. Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? The convoy's right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No. My friends are counting on me to get my performance bonus. I, I can't afford to screw it up. We don't engage. We just observe and report. Looks like them motorcycles are falling back. Probably just drop something. Fuck him up. We gonna just let him shoot at us? Quinn was very clear on not engaging. We don't do something? All we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Fine, just this once. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. Down and out. Okay, back on track. From here out, observe and report. Ah, oh, fuck. They have a turret. Can't take this kind of fire forever. Our orders are to follow them. No can do. Unless you want to take that thing out. God damn it. Getting closer. Wait, what are you doing? Taking out the turret. From the roof? No, from the truck. Get me closer. You're out of your goddamn mind. I thought you said you were a map. A little bit. I said a little bit. Oh. You'll regret that. Heads up. You got more incoming. No, come on. I was almost done. Uh, as long as I'm here. Scooby, why am I seeing gunfire at the back of that convoy? Quinn. Well, there were motorcycles and then a turret and... One thing led to another. Well, that was great. You, you don't sound mad. Did you honestly think I would send one car after a convoy that size? You're just a distraction. We got a drone following these motherfuckers. Wait, you use me as bait? That's the job you were born for. Mission accomplished. Now finish what you're doing and get out of there. JR, pick me up. I can't get close. That truck's on fire. Shit. The car's on fire! Ugh. This one's burning too. 
Get behind something! I thought I ordered you to retreat. Honest to God, I am trying. Well, as distractions go, you're exceeding expectations. Great! Can you put that in my performance review? Uh. You lost, Marshal? Up now. Uh. and fall back. Sergio, don't fall back! Don't fall back! Motherfuck! You try to lose him, I'll keep him off our asses. Marshal needs to stay the fuck out of my business! He's charging us! Shoot him! Shoot him! My shit. He's coming again. Push him back. Nobody steals from Sergio. He's rolling up my six. Back off, asshole. I see a way out. Keep your head down. It's gonna be tight. Huh? Whew. You think that guy's compensating for something? Don't count him out. It'll take more than a car wreck to kill that some bitch. Okay. Time to finally get the fuck out of here. What is that? Sandstorm. They're going in. Come in, newbie. Gwen, we hear you. We're falling back. Negative. The drone is down. I need... Need eyes on that convoy. I'm giving you field command. Fuck, really? Do what you gotta do. Follow the lead truck until it stops, then radio... JR, let's get him. The kid gloves are off. The kid gloves were on? Fucking asshole. All right. Oh. Uh, uh, I, I can barely see him. Come on, do it for the rent. Ah. What the fuck? You're dead. Think I see the main convoy ahead. Uh, we got a problem here. Be more specific. Sand's clogging up my intake. We're losing speed. Great. Just get me in the leapfrog range, then fall back. That's suicide. I got us this far, didn't I? I don't want to be a maverick no more. We're taking you down. Shit. Turrets. No, not today. Are those turrets connected by a hitch? Drive me to that flatbed or I will shoot you in the fucking face! Performance bonus better be huge. Uh, 
Nothing. Where's, Where's my, my rear guard? Gwen said to do what I need. I got this. End of the line, motherfucker. You're dead, mierda. You messed with the wrong one. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna do to you what I did to your truck. I'm fucking mad now. We need to find cover. Hey, Gwen. I followed the convoy. It, uh... It stopped. You did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player. I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, no, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir. It's me, JR, from Marshall. 
I got a favor to ask if you got a minute. Might be a little something in it for you, too. Nah, I'm not doing anything else. Be right there. You don't need this. This is beneath me. Yoink! Hey, JR, what's up? Well, after that little clusterfuck we had with the Panteros, you know, when my life was flashing before my eyes, I started thinking about early retirement. Seems fair. Took my bonus and savings and bought this empty lot. I'm fixing to open my own garage. Trouble is, a pack of those idols anarchists made off with my shipment of car parts. Without it, my garage is gonna fail before it even opens. And you want me to get the shipment back? After our last run, I figured this should be easy. I'd make it worth your while. Say, a percentage of the garage? A percentage? I'm in. Hey, yo. Kev, quick question. The idols robbed this guy I know. Any idea where they take his stuff? Probably to the camp. This friend of yours some rich bigwig? Nope, just a regular Joe trying to make ends meet. That doesn't sound right. The idols are about taking down the corrupt system, not the little guy. Yeah, and they never get overzealous. Well, just be careful, okay? The idols are like a family to me. I promise I'll be nice to them. Must be the camp. The collective really know how to throw a party. Who the hell are you? I'm uh looking to join. You, idols. A new recruit? Well, come on in. Go find Cheryl with a snake mask. She'll hook you up. I 
can't wait to be an official idol! Hi, Cheryl. Uh, I'm thinking about joining the idols. Yeah! Ready to take down the establishment? Sure. By, like, stealing car parts and shit. Or by punching everybody in the neck till they choke! <laughs> but hey, you do you. The idols are a big tent. You like heists? Talk to Martin. He's headbanging around somewhere. You, Martin? Heard you were a heist man. Fuck yeah! I made this botnet that hacks Wi-Fi-enabled refrigerators. Come summer, there won't be a working ice dispenser in town. Sounds great for the little guy. But do you steal real things, like car parts? What even is real in a late-stage capitalist digital economy? Boom. Mind blown. But if you like meat space theft, talk to Timmy O. He's around somewhere working on his bike. Being an idol is so amazing. If I bring my friends in, I'll finally move up a tier and make my own money. Timmy O, I heard you bringing the big hauls. Anything that ain't nailed down. Just boosted a shipment of car parts off some cog in the big auto machine. Crazy. Where would you even keep something like that? Warehouse and back, with the other refuse of materialism. Told Kev I'd try to play nice. Stop! What are you doing here? I heard you have some car parts I was hoping to, uh, take back. Fuck off! Thing is, they belong to one of the little guys you say you're fighting for, so... There are no little guys. Just idols and tools of the system. I'm taking those parts! I tried, Kev. Another one. Roommate Cole. Have to tether that container and drag it back to JR. yours. Light work.
Let's go. Holy shit, you actually did it. Now I can finally build my garage. I always deliver on a job. Hang on. Cab, what's up? You said you'd be nice to them. I was. They were shitheads. Well, now they want you dead, and they're headed your way. Shit, thanks for the heads up. JR, we got idols coming. Those some bitches are back. Time to beat some asses. Stay off my lot! Down and out. Ah! You're fucked with the wrong man! Now. Uh. Ah! This is payback. Ah! 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 Glad that's over. Thanks for saving my business. No problem. Thanks for the percentage. Now all I need to do is build a garage. How's that gonna work? Just you watch. Here it is. The world premiere grand opening of Jim Rob's Garage. The service center has all the tools you need to customize your ride. And if you see a car out there with something you like, bring it on in. Now that we're in business, let's talk shop. 